Welcome back to my channel. So this video was very really highly requested because I have a lot of you guys asking how I get my hair so shiny and how it get it the way it looks and how I get it to look the way it looks. So this video is a step-by-step -step guide and I tell you guys what I use and how I do it from beginning from when I wash my hair to when I am done and I'll just hopefully these things can help you guys out and will give you some tips and tricks and some products that are going to make your hair very shiny and I'm going to let you guys know now there's two products in this video that I'm telling you are the secret they are my magical thing that I use that will get your hair really shiny so keep on watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe for more videos okay so I'm going to walk you guys from how I when I wash my hair to when it's finally done from the beginning to the end I'll talk you through everything I do and give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get your hair looking silky smooth soft shiny and just looking good so this is what I do starting from the beginning I we're gonna start with how I wash my hair because that's the first step in getting really good looking hair and healthy hair so the first thing I do is I wash my hair at night I hate washing my hair in the morning because I really try to avoid a hair blo hair blower blo hair dryer as much as possible so I wash my hair at night usually a couple hours before I go to bed or like right before I go to bed and this is what it looks like when I wake up in the morning or once it's like dried and stuff and so I like my hair and my hair is like kind of wavy esque I guess but this is what it looks like when I after I take a shower and when I take a shower I mix up my shampoos and conditioners every couple months like every like one or two months so that's one first the first tip I have is to try different shampoos and to switch them up and also wash your hair only every like two to three days it's not good to wash your hair every day I try to stick to three days so if you can try washing it only three times every three days so that's the first part. When I am in the shower washing, I concentrate the shampoo on like the top of my head, like not so much in the ends. Don't wash your ends, it's not good. And you just wanna concentrate the shampoo at the roots. Um, after shampooing, I use my conditioners and I just put conditioners towards like the middle of my hair and like down. I don't put that near the roots. Um, okay, so let's get to the straightening part. Um, the first step I do is I like to separate my hair into sections and I'll show you how I do it. I'll put my hair in sections and just do like a half up, half down kind of thing. And then when I have my hair half up, half down, I go in with the heat protectant. Heat protectants are very, very important for your hair because they're really going to protect it from all the heat and get, getting less damage as possible but this is my secret this is the big secret to how I get my hair so shiny and I'm telling you guys I will never stop using this stuff I'm pretty sure because it is amazing and it is this little baby right here it is the silk elements mega silk heat protected spray um, it helps protect your heat from your it helps protect from heat damage and it provides a luxurious shine and I'm telling you guys this stuff is amazing um, I got mine from Sally Beauty Supplies um, I'll put a link down below for where I got it but I'm telling you guys this stuff is golden like I will preach till I die that this stuff is amazing um, so check it out um, Silk Elements Mega Silk Heat Protectant Spray good so what I do with it is I will just spray it in my hair. You don't need a lot of it. Like two pumps and that should be good. And then you just kind of like work it in through your hair with your hands. I wouldn't brush because I just don't find it necessary when I do my hair. But yeah, you just put it through your hair. And don't put too much because then your hair will be, um, it can get like oily if you put way too much of that stuff in. But, so just a couple sprays, two to three, and you're looking good. So you put that in your hair, 
and then it's time to straighten it. Um, my other key thing that I use, other than the, the like my two th products that I swear to, are the heat protectant and also this straightener. This baby has been through a lot. It's pretty beat up. I don't know if you can guys can see that on camera. The thing is is pretty beat up, but this thing is amazing. I this is actually the second straightener I've had. I have been using this brand and like this exact kind for I'm gonna say a little over four years. I had one for a while and then I dropped it and it broke because I had like tile floor at my house so I dropped it and it broke which was really a bummer but then I got this new one which I've had for uh, about two years now so that's why it's pretty beat up but this thing is amazing um it is called the gel bear flat iron I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right uh, I'll put a link down below of what it is called and where you can buy it I bought this also at Sally's but I'm sure you can find it in other places. But I'll put a link down below of the exact name of what the hair iron is. But I'm telling you guys, this stuff, this hair iron is amazing. I've used so many other hair irons. I've used Chi hair irons. I've used, I don't know, all the other brands you can possibly say. Because if you've watched my other videos, you might know that I've lived in a sorority house. So I've had the opportunity to try so many different straighteners. And this one's the best. I swear. Um... I have friends who use it and every time they use it they're like Tiffany I need to go buy that so they go out and buy it so check it out I'll put a link down below it's great but what I do it I like it because it's like really big like wide so all I do is just straighten my hair and I try not to go over it too much because you don't want to put too much heat on your hair because it will ruin it Um, one little trick that I like to do when I straighten my hair is once I've gone over a section a couple times I like to take it and I like to twist it like this and then go down on it and like kind of let it go. I don't know why I've just always done it and I just think it looks really good when I do it so that's just a little tip I do or a little trick I do so check it out try it see if you like it. So once I have my hair half up, half down, and I finish straightening the bottom part, I just section off more up from the top and just keep on straightening and spraying that stuff in my hair. Well, that's it guys that is how I straighten my hair and get it to look like this when it's all done <laughs>